channel, Alex here with ASM 101. Without boring you too much, let's get to the video and let's up our miter game with what I call. All right, guys, here's uh, here's what I plan on doing today. It's a little different, but I think it's going to be effective. I can also draw on this, so I'm going to pause the video, explain what's happening. This is this is actually a really great teaching tool. So what I have to do is turn uh, this this edge up the wall here. This this piece here has to get mitered into this wall. So for this line here to this wall line here is uh, not 90 degrees. Because it's not square, we have to do something a little different. How do we how do we get our miter line drawn transferred from here over to here across the top of this panel here? So that's what I want to show you guys today. I use what's called the step off method. So I'm going to play this video for a second. What I'm doing here is I'm securing the panel so it doesn't move on me in either direction. A good good practice for doing miters to be able to draw in the line using your pencil exactly where you want this piece to end up on. So now I can measure to this line and this is essential for the step off method. So here we go. I'm going to take this away. I'm going to play for a minute. If I didn't have this reference line that I just made to measure along, I could have very well been off on my, like if I measured if I held the ruler like this, on that slight angle, I would have potentially got an inaccurate measurement. So I've extended where this valley trim exists on the roof so it crosses over my miter line. So extend it out, and then there's my miter line. So right here, that intersection is basically where this once finished is where this metal trim is going to exist on that roof so now that i have that intersection there i can here let me draw that intersection so now i can measure over to here and what i have is six inches so the step off method requires me to do this so let's play this is the first step to do this, this method. So now that I have this information, let's see what happens. So I'm take that six inches. Now I'm gonna move it down that miter line. Pause. So this miter line that's here, I'm just moving my ruler down on that line, okay? Play. So that six inches that I just measured, I'm just mark, I'm just keeping that six inches on and marking that six inches all the way down the panel. So it's it's using that six inches as an offset. So this miter line that was there that I had is now my reference line that I'm stepping off of. So the step off method, the where, where it gets its name from, is we're stepping off of this miter line onto the piece, onto the piece, onto the piece. You can use this wherever you want. Let's just go back a minute here. This, this six inches right here, this is, so in the step off method, I always tell my guys, we have to find your magic number. So I mean, I could have six is where six is where that trim starts. But I mean, you could I could I could make it ten. I could make my magic number ten. So here to here, and I could transfer that down. And what that would do was it would give me some extra material up top, 
above my above the miter line fine fair enough but for demonstration purposes and for for for, for following along I used six here so just keep watching taking that six that magic number can be whatever number you want and just place my ruler on the miter line and step off of that miter line with my magic number so let's keep playing here okay so that's my final line now all I got to do is, is connect these lines. This, this is the miter line that I have now transferred from, from the wall onto my piece. So I'm, since I'm returning up the wall, I just, I just grabbed a quick measurement off the wall. And now off my miter line, I can just put in my allowance for my, for my wall return. Right, and I know that it's gonna follow that miter line that I had placed before. It's actually a really, really awesome technique I use daily. It's just, uh, it's just a really great technique to use, and uh, hopefully, hopefully this helps you guys in uh, in your miter game. I just want to take a minute now to let you know that ASM 101 is out here to help you improve your skills we're also learning too we want this trade to grow and prosper so hopefully through this channel we can do that anyway